Dark Shadow. Dark Shadow. Dark Shadow. Mic check one two one two. Mic check one two one two. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Dark Cheshire, poet, disabled veteran, and cat gentlewoman. Welcome, my alley cats. So on this day of an <laughs> on this day of adulting, I'm thinking about my pet peeve on what people thinks makes a woman. Um, trust me, I'm not even getting into the haters that hate on trans women. No, I'm talking about more so about what happened to me growing up um, with, uh, I guess, quote unquote, boomer parents. Um, and, you know, just that age range that think about women a lot differently than me. Now, let me clearly state, I think all children, regardless of gender, should be taught to the best of their ability how to do for themselves. Um, cooking, cleaning, uh, basic car know-how, etc. Uh, set them up for success when they move out of your house. But that's not what a lot of parents do. Um, they instead focus a child on what they think their gender should know and try to mold them into that, no matter their openness to new ideas as a parent um, that they may be. Um, even when I was younger, uh, when I was a younger kitty, I was at fault to an extent with my son saying that men should always open doors and learn to take out the trash, which pff, I open doors for people all the time and take out my own trash you can be chivalrous as a man or a woman um so yeah um and everyone should open doors for others if they are the fracking person in the front um and have nothing in their hands um that's just you know and if you're the the person in the house that uh filled up the trash last uh, you should be taking it out or if you're the one leaving out the door you should be taking it out and if de definitely if someone loves cooking and the other person doesn't um double yay um especially for me because i hate cooking but, you know, I was raised with some old school ideas. Um, I, and trust me, my parents have grown from this, but I was supposed to always have long hair. You um, never, as a woman, cut your hair if you could help it. You know, trim, yeah. You know, styling, yeah. But no, long hair. Um, you never went outside looking like a bum. Uh, meaning your hair was done nicely even if you were going outside to play you had play clothes and, and you know regular clothes and even your play clothes had to look presentable um, and let's not forget and you know people learn from their mistakes we've to, uh, we trust me I have had uh, therapy sessions uh, I call them therapy sessions with my father but he told me when I was like 13 and asked to join the junior ROTC, he told me that women had no place in the military. Um, like I said, luckily my dad you now has changed his mind about a lot of things like that over the years, but oh, did that burn me back then. Um, and the biggest pet peeve of the day is I hate the kitchen. Um, I will go for sustenance, you know, I, 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 but I hate cooking. Um, I hate standing in front of a stove waiting for water to boil. I hate the heat of the oven. I hate the feel of raw chicken. I hate the time it takes to cook things from scratch, but cooking things from scratch is the healthiest way to live. Um, and I just hate it all. If I could avoid the kitchen and food could magically appear to me, that would be awesome. 
Um, and because of my, my mom cat, I see the kitchen way too often. You see, my mom is a cook. One of those people that loves to cook. Every job she's had in the last 30 or so years is related to cooking. Whether in a school, a restaurant, at home, she loves cooking. Her kitchen is her office. You know, like my office is where I want to create my videos and um, do poetry and things like that. That's her kitchen. When you can't find her, She's in the kitchen, most likely. She sells the best cakes ever. She has designs that she's created for patented kitchen shelves that do all these crazy things that she has created. Um, if you're, again, if you're ever looking for her, when we can't find her, it's like she's gotta be in the kitchen. Morning, noon, night, doesn't matter. That's where you'll find her. Um, and that's great. That's her passion, but it's not mine at all. Um, as a kid, when I played house with others, I didn't want to be the mom because the mom in my house um, stayed home and cooked and cleaned. Well, she didn't stay home always, but you know, at, at that age, that's what I'm talking about. She was at home. I wanted to be the dad when we played house because I wanted to go out and have a job. Um, I, as I told my son, I never wanted kids at all growing up. <laughs> I, I, I tell him he's lucky I like him. I'm like, my dreams were to be a writer, a producer, and director. I wanted to make, I wanted to write books, and then I wanted to take my books and be my own um, screenwriter and write, you know, the, the, the um, screenplay for my books and then direct my own screenplay. I wanted to do it all um and i even pretended you know people play house and play with barbie dolls and things like that and here i am you know wrapped around in the sheet that was you know supposed to be my glamorous dress and pretending to have a microphone as i was accepting oscars and all sorts of things for my uh movie yeah anyway even when you know Barbie dolls. Um, I played them like soap operas. It wasn't me pretending to be one of them. No, I was creating these whole stories in my head. And seriously, these stories would go on for so long that I say they were like soap operas because I'd have to remember if I stopped playing where I was at in the story so that I could come back and set them back up you know, you know, somebody had cut the the brakes on Barbie's car and whatever I named her, and so um, she had crashed, and we were having this huge courtroom scene. Uh, like, <laughs> don't judge me. This is how I played. Okay. Um, so anyway, I love my son. He's an adult. My womb is uh, officially off limits. Um, no, it's person, what's, what's this uh, term? It's persona non grata to spermies. Yeah. So, um, but even still to this day, I come across men and women that give that pressure that you should want to be in the kitchen and cook. Or the other, you should settle down, get married, and possibly have more children. No, no, and sweet baby Jesus, no. Here's the deal. If I find someone that I can stand and they can stand me, I'm cool. The only reason I would want to get married is to have that piece of paper for like taxes and uh, anything we own and, you know, um, hospital. You know, if I end up in the hospital or something, then I can say, that's my significant other, that's my partner, husband, wife, whatever I decide in the magical future, whatever. But marriage you know means nothing without commitment i've seen plenty of committed relationships around me that live happily without um uh, a marriage and i'm agnostic so i don't think i'm going to hell or they're going to hell for not being married um and if i don't like cooking that does not in any way make me less of a woman in fact i want a partner that loves cooking man or woman or in between um or neither you know, 
so that they can enjoy their time in their happy place and I can be in my happy place instead. I don't get joy out of cooking like that. I get joy, like I said, out of writing poetry and playing with games and making videos. It doesn't have to be one or the other, but for me it is. You know, there's some women that, you know, they don't care for cooking that's not their joy but they still like you know cooking for themselves some men are like that for me I hate it so even with that though let me look down yes still got my giggles and bits I am still a woman um, in my head I am still a woman um, I refuse to be defined by outdated stereotypes and I don't think that anybody else should either I understand the older crowd but and I understand if you were raised like that, cool. Do not define me by your um, stereotypes. I don't like cooking. I may never get married. Maybe that means I'll be alone, a crazy cat lady, but hey, it's been working for me so far and I'm okay with that. You should be too, as long as I'm happy, right? All right. Well, that's all I got to say um, on this day in adulting. Uh, see you later, alley cats. Meow. Got no friends, so baby, dance tonight. You and all your friends, got no friends, so baby, dance tonight. You and all your friends, got no friends, so baby, dance tonight. You and all your friends, got no friends, so baby, dance tonight.